Hey there, friends. There's a very good chance that some of you who watch this video are probably going to stop following me. I'm sure I'm going to lose subscribers, certainly lose people who support me based on what I have to say in this video, but I don't care. What I'm about to tell you is factually correct, and there's a lot of data to back up everything I'm going to tell you, and some of you need to let go of some of these weird little cult-like things that you have that possess you in your minds and realize that following a religion is not the same as following the people who put themselves up on a pulpit and preach to you every single Sunday. Newer Cardinal Joseph Tobin said Americans should quote voluntarily give up their Second Amendment rights in order to achieve peace over violence. He admits that Americans have a Second Amendment right to bear arms, but he believes the right is eclipsed by the responsibility to protect the innocent and to secure public safety and good order. First of all, how do you secure those things? Knowing full well that evil exists. Let me remind you that the only reason why you are in the position you are in, priest boy, is because evil exists. If evil did not exist, would we need churches? I mean, let's think about it. Do we need cardinals? Do we need all these people preaching to us about how we need to live our lives better if there was no evil in the world? If there was no reason to extract evil from our everyday lives, would we need religion and would we need these guys standing on these pulpits telling us how we should live our lives better? I'd also like to remind this guy that it's a little bit taboo for criminals to attack clergy, people of the cloth, priests, preachers, deacons, whatever. So these people don't have the same kind of real world threat that we do. The only real threat to any of these priests is the dads, uncles, brothers, and family members of the children who they have sexually abused. And I would also like to remind him that any kind of responsibility to protect the innocent and secure public safety does not in any kind of way eclipse a constitutional right. You are in America. Even though you guys don't like to follow sexual abuse laws, we do have laws in this country that you also have to follow. He went on to say that, let's voluntarily set aside our rights in order to witness the truth that only peace and never violence is a way to build a free society that is lived concretely in our homes, our neighborhoods, our communities, our nation, and our world. Sir, there has never been a civil society that's existed on planet Earth without some kind of a good force fighting evil. By trying to twist the truth and get the weak-minded smooth brains out there to believe that, quote, the truth is that only peace and never violence is the way to build a free society is an absolute lie. Now, this wasn't enough for this guy as far as us voluntarily giving up our Second Amendment rights. He essentially said, and if that doesn't work, we'll force you to take them away. He pushed for Catholics to contact their elected representatives and push for more gun control. I'm going to preface the rest of what I'm about to say with this. I grew up Catholic. I was baptized Catholic. I went to Catholic school. I was confirmed my first communion in a Catholic church. I was married in a Catholic church. I had my son baptized in the Catholic church. With that being said, there is no way I would ever leave my son or anybody whom I love in the care of a Catholic priest under any circumstance. If my house was burning down, I would make sure that somebody besides a priest was watching my son while I put my house fire out. These people have been raping and molesting children for centuries and covering it up. You don't get where this cardinal is in hierarchy in the Catholic Church. Let me say this real quick. He very well could be the first American Pope. Know that. He's that high up. You don't get that high up in the Catholic Church without either molesting children. I'm not saying they've all molested children, but they all know that priests are molesting children and raping them. Or you have actually covered up molestation and raping of children. So you can't be that high up and be clean or unaware of all the cover-up and corruption that's happened to rape and molest children over these centuries. It's not possible. So I did a little bit of digging on this cardinal because I was like, well, 
he sounds a little holier than thou. Well, at first I was like, man, this guy seems like he's, you know, uh, might be legit to a certain degree, even though I know he's covered stuff up and he knows about a lot of stuff. He was actually accused of a lot of cover-ups around the 2018-2019 time period of molestations and rapes. Of course, it's kind of hard to deny it these days, so you may as well accept it and go with it. He was responsible for helping to release a whole bunch of names of rapists and uh, priest molesters. So I looked at that and I was like, okay, reading the headline, it sounded really great. When you go through and look at this list of people that he released the list of, it's all people who are not with the church anymore or they're dead. In fact, most of them are dead. You know why I'm pointing this out? Because you cannot tell me that in his area and throughout this country and the world, in fact, that there aren't other people who are still molesting and raping children. So the only people he was willing to release a list of was people who were no longer with the Catholic Church or dead. So nobody on the list is currently practicing for them. So clearly they're still covering it up. You cannot sit here and tell me with a straight face that these people are not still molesting and raping children. They didn't just figure out a way to end it. They are not going to be the ones who tell me how to live my life. And let me tell you something. A group of people like this cardinal, who are known for covering up the sexual abuse of young children, will not be the ones who encourage me to somehow or another abandon my constitutional rights. I'm sorry, but I will continue to protect myself and my family, and you can get your hand out of these little kids' pants and run yourselves like a normal person and quit acting like you're better than everybody else and covering up all these sexual abuses of children. In closing, guys, the illusion of safety without some form of force, as long as evil is still in this world, is only that, an illusion, and it can't be... I guess magnified any more than the illusion of safety of a parent who trusts their own child, their young child, their four, five, six, seven, eight year old child in the hands of a priest who turns around and sexually abuses them. Again, the illusion of safety without force is nothing but that, an illusion. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Please don't